Hey everybody. Uh, I just missed my ferry, which is fine. I figured I would. Uh, but I got an hour to kill, so I thought I would uh, use this time uh, to show you a little bit of where everything is packed on, uh, on Icarus on my bicycle. So I'm going to see if I can spin this around. How about that? Pretty nifty. Okay, this uh, is a custom built titanium and carbon bicycle that I built uh, using the funds I won from a McKnight Fellowship, Composers Fellowship, a couple of years ago and decided that um, I wanted to build a ride, custom built, and uh, so built by Northern Frameworks uh, through Angry Catfish Bicycle Shop and uh, the name that I have dubbed this bike is Icarus flying safely between the ocean and the sun and not getting too close to either one of them. I also um, have uh, Matisse's depiction of Icarus here on my bike where Icarus is falling upwards in the sky in the Matisse painting. Um, same color scheme and a few different kinds of accents. Uh, carbon rims and uh, carbon front fork and uh, probably about 40 pounds of gear on the bike uh, starting uh, with the uh, sweet roll which is this long black thing here in the center is my clothing bag that's all the clothing that I'm going to use for the journey um, three t-shirts basically uh, two pairs of shorts and a few pairs of underwear a few pairs of socks um, and a few layers um, one long sleeve that I have on and another long sleeve for uh, over that. On this side here is the tent, which uh, can go down to below zero. So I had to bring a little bit of a bigger, fluffier tent uh, for the ride this year. Excuse me, sleeping bag. The tent is on this side. So I've got a nice uh, tent that you have all seen pictures of. So that is the sweet roll. Um, these dry bags here are about five liters each. They're basically the camp kitchen and a few extras in there. So there's a cooking fuel, there's a cooking stove, there's a jar of peanut butter in here. Um, there's a medical kit, somewhere between the two of these um, uh, plates, uh, collapsible uh, lightweight plates, some extra winter layers are stuffed in here. So this is sort of the junk drawer of the bike uh, as well. Um, I guess you would call it the glove box. You can also call it my man purse. This is the electro electronic center here. So I got a couple battery packs in here. I've got a small iPad that just happened to make it on the journey. Uh, those things don't usually last long in here. More electronic stuff, uh, important papers, uh, stuff you want to grab quick, like readers. Um, this bicycle generates electricity with the front tire. I've got a dynamo hub in here and so you may have noticed in some of the videos that this light here is always uh, running and I can also charge up my battery packs while I drive to or uh, my phone. Feed bags are what we call these. Water, water. Got another water reservoir right down here as well. Uh, in the gas tank, um, I've just been carrying my uh, yellow safety vest that I've been using for the tunnels and some of the busier roads. This camera that I'm wearing on my body, the body camera, usually goes in here when I'm not using it. Uh, back here is a 16 liter seat post bag is what we call this. Um, deep inside here are a pair of goggles that I'll be using for the, uh, the, uh, the rain and the sleet and, and the potential snow that's going to be coming up down the road. There's a roll of toilet paper right where I can't get at it. I got about six pounds of food in here made up of Minnesota wild rice that I dehydrated. There's some uh, mixing packets for quick meals, uh, some oatmeal, that kind of stuff. I got a drone in here. So there's a drone in here as well, sleeping pad, and a few little extras as well. You can usually put some clothing in here for a quick grab because this thing opens up right away. Safety light, which always runs as I'm running. Tent stakes, a stick pack here. This is extra winter clothing in here as well. Um, and then I uh, got some cookies right there as well. Well, gloves, it's a little cargo net that kind of keeps things uh, doing well. 
And then uh, the frame bag itself uh, here um, is custom built for the bike. This is the garage, basically, uh, down here. Got all my tools. Um, I'm running tubeless, but I've got a couple spare tubes in here. I've uh, got a bike pump, a bike lock, which I've used now and then, but don't really have to. Uh, and some tools for fixing various things. Um, and then in here, uh, wet wipes or baby wipes, suntan to protect myself from the Arctic sun. A little backpack that I can throw on my back when I go to the store. Toiletries. Um, utensils, little odds and ends, it's somewhat of a junk drawer as well. Um, yeah, and then uh, just various layers that I use uh, when I do my riding. Got an all-important mirror right here so I can see just how close death is really on my tail as I'm riding on busy highways. No, this is very helpful because what I do is when I see traffic coming towards me, I give a quick glance at this mirror to see what's behind me because I don't want to be at a point where two cars meet at the same time while I am there. Uh, yeah, helmet, I always wear that. And here's the harness for the camera. So um, that's a basic rundown of uh, what we carry on Icarus. And uh, as the food gets eaten, the bike becomes lighter and lighter and lighter, but um, having a lighter carbon titanium frame uh, makes a world of difference between some of my other bikes, which were made out of a, a steel chromoloy mix. They're great bikes, but oh yeah, and I'm running um, gravel tires, strangely enough, um, because I, I'm going to be doing some gravel routes towards the end of this journey, so normally I would probably have some smoother tires for the road, but I've made that choice to do that, so there you go. That is what we're carrying on Icarus.